Today, I'm going to share with you three things that I think every PA and NP needs to know and to remember. The first one is to know that you make a difference. Yes, I know, a little touchy-feely, but bear with me. We do have a point. It is important to know and remember, especially when we're feeling very beat up, when we're being pressured by administration to do more and see more, when you're going from room to room and patients are arguing with you, or you have to justify your diagnosis against what Dr. Google had to say. It really can be maddening. And sometimes you're just like, I I just, I'm over this. On those days, I think it's important to take a few minutes and think about those patients that we have really made a difference in their lives. That diagnosis that we caught that could have had terrible consequences for the patient if we had missed it, or that patient that we really helped and supported through a terrible medical diagnosis. But I also like to think about those patients that we don't know that we made a difference in their lives. Thinking about the person who is so lonely that they feel like no one in the world cares about them. And especially like the elderly. Coming to see you every three to six months may be a highlight for them. And just knowing that my listening to them and talking to them and asking them about their problems might have totally warmed their heart and really helped them feel like they are not facing the world all by themselves. So when you start feeling kind of beat up and maybe even having a a little pity party, it's nice to kind of stop and think about those patients and the privilege that we have to be invited into people's lives and to be able to make a difference to them. Number two is know your worth. I know we hear this a lot, but it really is important. You know, it's kind of disheartening when you see job postings for PAs and NPs and they're offering like $43 an hour. I know to some people that may seem like a really good pay. And some people may say that we're being greedy or that we should feel bad that we want to be paid well for what we do. I understand how they can have those feelings, but I also understand the number of years that we went through school studying really difficult stuff, the number of things that we gave up in our own personal lives in order to be able to devote to that studying, and then the amount of money that we spent to become PAs and NPs, let alone the money that we spend all the time now. It seems like we're constantly paying for licenses or certifications or DEA or CME or whatever else they come up with. It seems like we're always having to pay in order to be able to work in this profession. Think about the responsibility that we have on our shoulders of taking care of another person's health. Their actual existence in this world sometimes depends on what it is that we do. And that is a lot of stress. And to me, That alone dictates that we should be well compensated for what we do. So how do you make sure that you know your worth? One is to get your hands on the salary report from either AAPA or AANP. And I also think that PAs and NPs should be keeping their eye on the job market in their area, looking at the postings and see what is being offered. You may have been working in office for years, not really getting much in the way of raises, And you may start looking at your salary and realizing, wow, you are not being paid what the market salary is now. So use that information when your contract comes up for for review, or you may decide that you want to leave and go to another office where you're going to get paid significantly more. And number three kind of goes along with that, and that is know your options. As a PA or NP, we have so many options available to us. And it's kind of frustrating when I hear people say that they feel stuck and like they they can't do anything different than what they're doing. We absolutely have tons of options. You can work in all the different medical specialties. Anything can be learned. You have that base knowledge. You have the, the knowledge of how to deal with patients, how to diagnose and treat. All of that is fundamental, no matter what specialty you go to. And and what if you're tired of clinical medicine? Well, we have lots of options there too. You can work in medical industry. You can work in clinical research. You can work at a PA or an NP program. You can even work in administration. And if you just want to leave medicine completely behind and you're done with it, we have 
usually a master's, sometimes a doctorate degree. And we have a ton of skills that we have picked up along the way as a provider that can translate easily into other industries. So please don't ever feel stuck. We have tons of options. And if you want to learn more about what some of those options are, then you can start by watching these videos here. You can also go to the playlist on my main channel page. Thank you for joining me. And as always, take care, stay sane, and I'll see you next time on The Medicine Couch. Bye.